What's up guys, this is Sally. We're here at Bowhead Corp. You're thinking about ordering a set of 559s. Great choice. First things first though, we're gonna measure your effective axle length. So what you're gonna need today is of course your chair, your wheel, and your axle. Ideally two sets of adjustable pliers, such as these Nipex, as well as a measuring tool, ideally a caliper. So before we measure your axle, we wanna make sure that it's dialed in perfectly for your chair. Ideally, when you put your wheel on your chair, it should click into place and lock on without any play. If there is play, or if your wheel's not locking into place, then we'll show you how to adjust the length of your axle. This is what ha will happen if your axle is a bit too short. You'll put your wheel on, and it'll just come right off without locking into place. If your axle's too long, you'll put it on, and then there might be a little bit of play in your wheel. So, in either of those cases, we're gonna grab our adjustable pliers. If you don't have these fancy adjustable pliers, you can use a 3 quarter and a 7 16 wrench. If you're using metric, that will be 11 and 19 millimeters. Use the flats on one end, lock that into place, and then we'll use the flats on the other end as well. I recommend doing a half turn in either direction, testing that on your chair, and then adjust as necessary. All right, so once you have your axle measured in perfectly for your chair, we're gonna measure your effective axle length. So that is the distance from the edge of your hub to right before the ball points. So we're gonna grab our measuring tool, ideally a caliper, and we're gonna measure this distance. It can be a little bit awkward with your hub and your wheel, but just do your best here. So for this axle specifically, it is 41 millimeters. So I'm gonna write this distance down and then make note of it for ordering my 559s. When you go to fill out the order form, if you find that your axle doesn't match any of the ranges that we have, shoot us an email at service at bowheadcorp.com and we'll do our best to source those for you. Thanks guys.